the fundamental function of NetGuard Identity and Access Manager is to separate operations users from the knowledge of N-System credentials. Users do not have the knowledge of these N-System credentials on network elements, servers, graphical user interface such as element management systems, network management systems, OSS systems, ancillary tools, or any web application. Operations users simply need to know their personal Active Directory or corporate Windows credentials in order to first authenticate against NetGuard Identity and Access Manager. NetGuard Identity and Access Manager takes care of all authorization and will perform forensic session logging for each and every session initiated by an operations user. If an operations user needs to have access to a graphical user interface, they'll actually need to log into the NetGuard Identity and Access Management System client. Here you can see that this has already been achieved, and this user, ops user, is presented with a list of all of the network devices and systems that they have access to. A simple right click will show the actual launch methodologies that are available against that network element device or system. Here I'm uh, selecting a network element that not only has the capability of being reached through SSH, but actually has a local craft interface that happens to be a web interface. A user selecting this and clicking, you'll actually see that the NetGuard Identity and Access Management System product will automatically log in for that user on their behalf. NetGuard Identity Access Manager launched Chrome in this case, went to the appropriate URL and injected the appropriate user ID and password on behalf of this user. This session is actually being video logged for forensic analysis.